Hi, first graders. Okay, so today we're reading a really cool story called What is a Yurt? I bet you've never even heard of a yurt before, and it's pretty cool, and I think you're going to like it, okay? So while we're reading this story that I've got pulled up right here, What is a Yurt? I want you to be thinking about the fort that you made and how a yurt is similar or different from the fort that you made, but also we're looking for those O-I and O-Y words. And there aren't a ton here in this story, um, but there are a couple. Okay, so before we start, this is a nonfiction story, which means it's not fake, right? It's a true story, and you can tell because it's got real pictures um, on the front. All right, let's get started. Okay, chapter one, who lives in a yurt? Do you go camping? Many people enjoy it. Look at that word, enjoy. What chunk is in that word? You're right, it's O-Y, oi, oi, oi. Remember, O-Y, oi, 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 O-Y, boy, boy, boy. Remember? So, enjoy, enjoy it. Many people enjoy it. First, they set up a tent. During the day, campers fish, hike, and eat. At night, they fall asleep under the stars. At the end of a camping trip, people take their tent down. They pack up their car and drive home. All right, now let's think about it. So far in our story, have we talked about a yurt? We haven't. We haven't heard anything about a yurt. We don't know who lives in it, even though this chapter was titled Who Lives in a Yurt. We don't know what they look like. So far, if we were going to say what the main idea of the story is, so far we've only heard about tents, right? But we know that when we look at the main idea, we often look back at the title, right? So if we go back to the title, it's what is a yurt? So our main idea is probably going to be about a yurt, right? But so far, the only detail we've gotten is tense. So we're hoping they tie that into a yurt soon because that's what we're thinking the main idea is going to be. Oh, here we go. Ready? A yurt is like a tent, but a yurt is stronger. Long ago, some people lived in yurts. These people were called nomads. Nomads knew how to build yurts and take them apart quickly. Nomads moved a lot. They carried their yurts with them. Early yurts were made of mats from sheep's wool. The nomads added mats in the winter to make the yurt warm. They took mats away in the summer. This made the yurt cooler. Chapter two, how are yurts built? So this is going to be similar to your how-to that you did for your fort, the one that you're working on today and tomorrow, or the ones that you worked on yesterday and today, sorry. So your how-to about your fort is kind of like this chapter, how are yurts built? Because they're going to tell us how they built them. A yurt begins with a wooden frame. It is always round like a circle. The frame, uh-oh, there's an O-I word, O-I, oi, 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 O-I, oi, 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 in the middle of a word, boink, right, O-I. Ready, the frame joins, joins together for a perfect fit. Builders put the roof frame above the circle. The builders place canvas around the sides of the frame. They cover one section at a time. So you can see like this is a section, they would cover one section at a time. Next, canvas is placed above the frame and it will be the yurt's roof. There's that word next that we use in our how-tos too, right? Chapter three, do people build yurts today? Yurts are still used in Asia as shelter. They are warm in winter and cool in summer. These yurts are easy to take apart and move. They can balance on a camel's back. The camel takes the yurt to the next place. Some people live in a yurt all year. Yurts can be a lot like other kinds of homes. Some people spend their vacation in a yurt instead of in a hotel room. People can also build their own yurt. They can buy a yurt kit. A kit doesn't cost too much money. Would you like to live in a yurt? So think about that. Think about your house and how it's similar to a yurt. You know what I mean? Is it made up of little sections? Is your house round? Um, probably not. So those would be the ways that it's different. But is it similar? You know, does it provide you shelter? Does it keep you warm? Does it keep you cool? Would you like to trade your house out for a yurt? All right, so here's some response to reading. Um, and we're going to go through this really quick, and then we're going to move on to tree houses. And if you don't want to listen to tree houses, it's actually optional. So you can stop the video and not listen. But I thought the tree house book was pretty cool, so I wanted to go ahead and read it to you. So really quickly, pause your video and retell in your own words what you think a yurt is to your parent, your stuffed animal, or your 
puppy or sibling, okay? So stop the video, retell in your own words what is a year about. Okay, now that you've retold that, let's move on down here. Why did nomads live in yurts? Okay, so that's one of the things that we go back to the text to find out. So let's go back to the part where it talked about nomads. Let's see, that's about 10, so it must be farther than that. Let's see. Some people lived in yurts. These people were called nomads. They knew how to... Oh, right here, I would say. So it says, nomads knew how to build yurts and take them apart quickly. Nomads moved a lot. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that because that's the text evidence that tells us why did nomads live in yurts? It's because they moved a lot. So that's a cause and effect that we sort of talked about, right? The effect is they um, live in yurts. And the cause of that is that they needed a house that they could move with them a lot because nomads moved from place to place. So they needed a house that they could pack up and take them with them just like a tent, right? All right, let's look at the next question. Look at page two. Why do people buy your kits today? Page 11, I'm sorry. Why do people buy kits today? Remember we talked about, oh, look, they're on vacation. They buy the tent, a yurt kit, so they can use it just like a tent. They go out camping, they go on vacation, and they want it to be a yurt. Okay, so right here. And it also says, they because they want to build their own yurt, and it's because kits don't cost too much money. So they buy the kit because it's not that expensive, probably less expensive than hotel rooms. And right here, some people spend their vacation in a yurt. Okay, let's look at our last question. In what is what is a yurt, fiction or nonfiction, and how can you tell? We already answered that question, right? It's about real things. It gave you facts and information, and it had real pictures, so we know that it's a nonfiction text. Okay, like I said, if you'd like to stop the video, go ahead and stop now. You do not have to listen to Treehouses, but if you're interested and you want to keep listening, then please do. All right, so we're going to read about another interesting home that you can build, just like the yurts and the tents, um, just like your house was built. We're going to read about tree houses. This picture is of the world's largest wooden tree house. How cool is that? That makes me think about Tarzan. If you've ever seen Tarzan, they have that big tree house that they build up in the trees, and that's what that makes me think about. So that is my connection to another story. Okay, this tree house has stairs and railings to keep people safe. That's pretty cool. Walk up the steps toward the top of the tree, and what do you see? A house. Did you know that some people live in tree houses? Other tree houses are just for fun. Children can play with their friends or spend time alone. There is so much to do and see in a tree, and these boys are using their tree house as a fort. So there's two reasons people have tree houses. They can live in it. It can be their house, or they can use it as a fort for fun. Okay, so looking at both the stories we've read at the yurts and the tree houses, how are yurts and tree houses alike? You mean they're sort of a unique house, um, sort of different than a normal house. But the yurts, I think the main difference is that the yurt, you can pick up and pack up and take with you, but you can't take your tree house with you because it's kind of stuck in your tree, right? So that would definitely be a difference, okay? And if you want to, you can plan a camping trip um, and list things you need and draw a picture of your campsite. I'm um, just a sign of a fun extension activity if you wanted to do something like that, okay? Awesome.